Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how you can get past a blocked IP address error um, by using a VPN called NordVPN. Okay, now um, getting blocked on um, different websites and forums happens to everybody eventually. Could be some rabbit administrator or even you can make a mistake and type in incorrect passwords a few times. It's quite easy to get blocked. Also, for those of us who work online, um, if you try and overdo something, you can get blocked very easily indeed. So if you're working on Instagram and you promote your um, channel a bit too aggressively or post a few many pictures, you can get banned on Instagram quite quickly too. Um, it happens on all sorts of places and all sorts of websites. So here I'm just going to explain the basic principle here and how you can get around it, but it, it kind of applies to everything really. Okay, so let's just see it in action. Let me go to a website where I'm banned. And if we try and go to it now, I will get um, a message here. You can see your access to this site has been limited. Um, please try again in a few minutes. Um, it won't work if you try again in an hour. I'm still banned from here. Um, this is because my IP address is blocked on this website. And until I change it, nothing's going to change, really. Okay, um, so I'm going to show you how to change it. So I'll just remember that there, and I'll close it. And we'll go and start my copy of NordVPN. Now, there are free ways of doing this, but to be honest, um, they're not really that. I, I certainly wouldn't use them, let's say. Um, the problem is they either put things like adverts in, they pinch some of your bandwidth and sell it to premium customers and if you're cool with that fine or um basically you just get a cut down version that's very very slow um so i i pay for a paid vpn and um this is pretty much the best and the cheapest i've found it's called nordvpn and here we go i'm going to actually just show you how easy it is to change my IP address. Now, for instance, I'm in the UK at the moment, um, so I'm just going to pick a UK server. If I wanted to bypass um, a block based on my location, I would pick a different server. So say I wanted to go to a German um, TV site and I was blocked, not because of any manual block, but because I wasn't in Germany, I'd go and pick a German server. So then that would change my IP address to a German IP address and I'd be able to access the result. If, let me just scroll out a bit, I wanted to access um, a site that's only available in the US, I'd go and pick a, a US IP address and so on. But I'm at the moment I just need to change it to anything. And in those situations, you're probably best picking the same country. So I'm now connecting to a United Kingdom server um now i don't really care anything about it apart from it's just got a different ip address than my current one so let's just minimize that so it's done that it's connected to united kingdom 1412 okay so i now have a different public ip address okay so let me just go and go back to this site and this is the site that I was blocked in before and you can see I got a little message I've now actually got a different um, IP address um, I'm using the NordVPN IP address and you can see I can now get to the site perfectly it's just simply looking for that IP address and you can do that with anything so that's the easiest way as I said if there are free ways um, by all means research them I personally wouldn't touch them unless you're very short of cash because they're slow and there are quite a few risks with them um, my recommendation try NordVPN it's great for doing um, just getting through ordinary blocks and it's great for unlocking the internet you can go and access sites that you just can't get normally are accessible to you Okay, so that's the end of this video, and I'll just finish there now. Uh, any questions, just pop them in the uh, comments, and I'll try and answer them. Okay, thanks very much. Bye-bye.